Hello everyone, this is Linda and I have a project to share with you. I made this mini album and um, it's for my neighbor's niece. It's her birthday and she wanted me to make a purple mini album for her. So this is what I came up with. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and go over what I used first before I show you the inside. I used um, the Open Stock Recollections line at Michael's, and she wanted uh, purple, so um, I tried my best to stay with purple. Um, so anyway, all the paper is Open Stock from Michael's. Um, the flowers are Wild Orchid Crafts, um, white foundation blooms in the small will be 22 millimeter and the larger ones on the inside will be 45 millimeter. I have sprayed them all with um, cotton candy pink uh, from Lindy Stamp Gang and um, Perfect Pearls um, Forever Violet for the purple ones. Um, on the spine here I have attached a ribbon and some fibers and I have put some charms on here. I have a pair of ballet shoes. I have a butterfly. And then if I can get it out, because it's small and it, I keep losing this one. It says dance. And that is from mm, what scrap. Okay, so... Um, the closure is a ruffled ribbon elastic piece that uh, I bought, I think at uh, mm, Ribbon by the Yard, I think might be the name of it. It was uh, one of the um, booths set up at the Scrapbook Expo last year. And I just uh, punched a hole with my crocodile and ran the ribbon through and attached and glued it down in the back so that's the closure otherwise the black back is fairly plain um, then I used a doily and my one and three quarter inch Stampin' Up! circle punch and wrote out the word Ashley on my computer printed that out and then um, decorated it with the Prima rub-ons and I don't know what um, the name of the line the um, rub-ons are because uh, they were just some leftovers and I don't remember what the name of it was. Anyway, um, that takes care of the outside. Now for the inside I put um, these uh, photo well you know photo page <laughs> with uh, magnets here to close it and so this book really holds a lot of uh, pictures so um, all of the tags are made with uh, Sizzix uh, tag scallop and combo number two punch and or die and also the Stampin Up Sizzix Bigs die and I think the name of its two tags so anyway I used Martha Stewart um, on the edge punch here and uh, I don't know the name of it I think it it's this one so um, anyway I used that there and um, I used it over here on this side for this photo mat front and back. These are envelope, this is an envelope mini and each page has this same thing here and this came from, I got the inspiration for this book from uh, Laura following the paper trail and she used the on the edge doily die by uh, Tim Holtz distress doily die and uh, so I used it too because I thought it looked so pretty and um, it has photo mats on both sides and then on the next page whoops lost my tag all of us see I told you the tags were all Sizzix so you know where they came from and uh, 
I made a pocket here, put some lace. Uh, this little paper clip came from the dollar bin at Michael's. I put a Martha Stewart butterfly punch, um, used my Martha Stewart butterfly punch here. Put a little stickles on it so that it sparkles a little bit. And um, I think it was Stardust stickles I used. And then I used this little cuddle bug die here from the Vintage Collection and uh, use that to cut these uh, photo corners out. Okay, and this this page has a um, Velcro closure and a little waterfall photo thing there. And I use the Martha Stewart um, punch there again. Okay, and this is the same. It's pretty basic, this book. Um, she didn't want a lot. I mean, she doesn't scrapbook a lot, so I really didn't know how much to uh, do, so I kind of left it kind of plain for her. Another pocket with a lace um, attached and some more tags. And then here is a gatefold page. And I just attached it with some twine and some brads that I had in my stash. I've had them forever. I have no idea where they came from, but they matched, so they worked. Uh, place to journal on each side and place for a photo there. This paper is actually um, from a pack of cardstock that I bought from Michaels, but it wasn't open stock, but I've had it for a long time, so I used a piece of that. In there and uh, then this is the same and another pocket with some lace trim on it and some more tags and then on the back I left this page plain because I think this paper is so pretty and then another one of the magnetic um, photo pages there with a pocket and tags. So that's my book and um, thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. I was a little a little bit distracted so sorry for that but um, I had to get this done because she's coming to pick it up. So thanks again for watching. Um, I appreciate it and I'll talk to you later. Bye.